Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog. This is our third lesson, Module 1.3. This is on absolute value. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So how do we find and use what's called absolute value? So the absolute value of a number is the number's distance from zero on a number line. So you can think of positive numbers and negative numbers, but it's the actual distance it is from zero on a number line. So for example, you guys, the absolute value of negative three is three because uh, here's negative three right here. Negative 3 is 3 units from 0 on a number line right there, okay? So um, the absolute value of positive 3 is also 3, because that is also 3 units from 0 on a number line. And so we write absolute values with these vertical bars right here. So the absolute value of negative 3 is written like this with these vertical bars right here. And the absolute value of positive 3 is also equal to, um, it has these absolute values, uh, bars around it. Okay, and they're both equal to positive threes. Okay, so absolute value is always non-negative. I used I had a student teacher a long time ago, and she called absolute values negative choppers. They take off the negatives. It's just always positive. It's a positive distance. Okay, so graph the numbers on a number line, and then we'll use the number line to uh, find each absolute value. Okay, so we did a lot of graphing on number lines before, so I do them all at once right here. So negative seven will go right here, and then five will go right here and so on and positive seven so there's all these numbers graphed on this number line right here so what's the distance from zero uh, from this guy so negative seven is seven units from zero so it equals positive seven okay five is positive five it's five units from zero seven is also seven units from zero negative two how many units from zero is that that's positive two units from zero okay they're just negative choppers they take off the negative so if there's a negative inside the absolute value it's positive, whatever that number is right there, okay? Easy, huh? All right, which pair of numbers in the, the last section have the same absolute values, and how are these numbers related? Okay, so here's the number line right here. Well, this is 7, and this is 7, so negative 7 and 7 have the same absolute values. Also, 4 and negative 4 have the same absolute values, and what's their relationship? They're just opposites of each other, okay? Negative numbers are less than positive numbers. Well, that's true. Uh, does that mean that the absolute value of a negative number must be less than the absolute value of a positive number? No, that's not true, you guys, because I know negative 7 is less than 3, but the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. The absolute value of 3 is 3, and 7 is greater than 3, so the absolute value of negative 7 is bigger than the absolute value of uh, three right there okay so so the answer is no and you can just stay say this right here but the distance from negative seven to zero is greater than the distance from positive three to zero all right so john recorded uh, the night's temperature of negative fifteen degrees fahrenheit so we're going to write an any uh, an equivalent statement about the temperature using the absolute value of that number so what's the absolute value of negative fifteen well fifteen is the absolute value so what's negative fifteen degrees fahrenheit mean it means positive 15 degrees below zero. So here it is. Here it is represented without the negative sign. So the temperature at night is 15 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So if we write below zero, we don't need to have the absolute, or we don't need to have the negative sign right there, okay? All right, so here's a little game. Scott, Bob, John, and Julie are playing a game. In order to stay in the game, a player must achieve uh, has to achieve a positive number of points. And so the points needed are shown to get a positive number, okay? So this person needs 20 points. So there are 20 points in the hole, negative 20. This person needs 25 points. So this represents negative 25. This person needs 30 points, okay? So we're going to answer the following questions, and this will give you enough information to determine who belongs to each criteria. Okay, and then when a player needs a positive number of points, it means that the the player's point total is negative. So this person needs 20 points, so they're negative 20 points, okay? This person needs 25 points, so they're negative 25. This is negative 30. This is when they need 45 points, and then they're 45 points below zero, okay? So we need to have a positive number of points. All right, slide that up. Here's a bunch of questions. Ah! Okay, so here we go. Scott's uh, point total is less than 30, or less than negative 30. Okay, so think of a number line, think of negative 30, and Scott is less than negative 30. So does Scott need more than 30 points or fewer than 30 points to stay in the game? Well, if he's less than negative 30, that's going to be further to the left. 
So he's going to need more than 30 points to get himself back in the game. All right, so which one of these is more than 30 points? So this needs 30 points. It's not this one. This is exactly 30. This one needs 45. This is Scott right here because that's more than 30 points right there. So Bob's total is greater than negative 25, okay? So if he's greater than, remember, negative 25 on a number line is way over here. If 0 is over here, negative 25 is somewhere over here. And he's greater than that. So he's to the right of that right there. So he's going to be greater than that. So does Bob need more than 25 points or fewer than 25 points? Well, if he's greater than negative 25, then he needs fewer than 25 points. Which one is fewer than 25 points? Here's good old Bob right here. He needs 20 points. That's the only one that's fewer than 25 right there. All right, John's point total is, is 5 less than Bob's point total. Well, if Bob needs 20 points, then John's going to need um, 25 points. So this must be John right here. So does John need more points than Bob or fewer points than Bob? He's going to need more points than Bob. So if he's five, if he has five more points he needs than, than Bob does, there's, there's John right there. So this is going to be Julie right here. So Julie needs 15 fewer points than Scott needs. So is Julie's point total greater than or less than Scott's point total? Okay. Well, um, it's going to be greater than right there, so uh, her point total is going to be greater than. Scott needs more points, so that means Julie has more points than that. So this this one's going to have to be Julie right here, okay? All right, you guys. Um, uh, let's see. So we're going to use absolute values to describe the relationship between uh, point total and the... Uh, I'm sorry. Use absolute value to describe the relationship between point total and the number of points needed on the previous game. All right. Well, that just means that the number of points needed was the absolute value of the point total right here. So right here, so he, this uh, point, he needs 20 points right there. That meant he was negative 20 points below right there. So that, that's all that means right there, okay? So must the absolute value of a number always be positive? Well, there's one exception, you guys. The absolute value of zero is zero, and zero is neither positive nor negative. So the absolute value of any number is positive except for zero right there. Okay, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.